Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name is Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. It's Friday and in the booktubing community this means one thing. It's Friday Reads time. So let's see what I will be reading this weekend. As I like to mix up my genres, I'm reading three books at the same time. So mostly I read a fantasy, a science fiction or urban fiction book and a steampunk book. This weekend I try to progress in all three of them. I don't know how much time I will have because you might know this if you're into gaming in Germany, in Cologne, it's the Gamescom this weekend. And I live only like 30 minutes from Cologne, so I will go there, but not to the actual convention because my gaming friends and I have been there in the last couple of years and with each year it gets more crowded and you need to wait way more longer to uh, to try out the games and and so we we all decided now nah, it's not that much fun anymore but we're still uh, meeting up for drinks um, for the occasion so i will go to uh, cologne on saturday so no reading on saturday and I also play Divinity Original Sin at the moment with a friend and we usually do this in the evenings so maybe today and Sunday it will be gaming time so that cuts a bit into my reading. But without further ado, now up to the books I'm going to read. First up for fantasy it's The Emperor's Blades by Brian Stafley. This is a very interesting book. It's set into a, I think, more Asian cultured fantasy world, which is um, nicely changed from all the European centric medieval settings we have in fantasy so often. And we follow three protagonists. They are siblings. The first is uh, Caden, and he is like the heir to the throne and he um, is sent to a monastery um, or when we meet him he is already there for five years I think and uh, he's trying to become a, a monk but he's also as I said the heir of the throne how these two things go together in the end I'm not I'm not quite sure now but it's it's uh, it's an interesting concept the, the second son, Valen, is uh, trained to be like a warrior um, of a unit of um, elite fighters who fight on the backs of huge uh, birds. I don't know if it's huge ravens or... Uh, it, it's, it's, it's huge birds. Um, and, and he is also a, a, very, a very harsh training, as it seems. The third character is called Adair and she's the female sibling and she remains in the capital um, and at the start of the novel the emperor is killed and suddenly the boys are also in danger and Adair finds herself in the situation where she needs to navigate the uh, court intrigues. She is not allowed to be uh, the ruler, the, uh, she can't become empress, um, but she's involved in, in the government and yeah, as I said has to deal with all the political intrigue. I listened to this as an audiobook, I'm not that far into, I think I heard like maybe 10 percent 15 something like that and it's um, it starts interesting it, it's not gripping me right now at the moment but we'll see how it goes the second book I'm reading is for my science fiction slot and it's ninja vs pirate featuring zombies by James Marshall and as the title suggests it's a totally bizarre and crazy book. Um, I just try to give you a bit of the the, the drift of it. Uh, it's uh, um, it's all over the place. It's 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 just weird. Um, it's about a 16-year-old boy. He's called uh, Guy Boy Man, 
um, and actually he lives in a world where almost everyone around him becomes a zombie or most people and in his school the kids at some point take the Z, the zombie acceptance test uh, and if they pass they become a zombie and if they don't they become zombie food. Hmm. Um, and at the beginning already in the first pages he kind of kills his parent with an axe and then a centaur appears and gives him all the money in the world um, or at least the majority of it. Um, the only uh, hook is that he can't tell somebody that he loves them. Hmm. Interesting choice. And of course then a girl appears and it's the 15 year old baby doll 15. Uh, very creative, I know. And she's accompanied by a unicorn all the time. And um, uh, the, uh, the, the protagonist then uh, he, he forms like his own his own religion and he calls himself a pirate uh, and he wears the hat of the Pope which he stole, but he says it's a pirate hat because he stole it, so he pirated it, you know, St stuff like. So it's it's to it's totally weird. The the the, the whole thing, the, the the plot is all all over the place, but it's it's so silly, and um, and the the rather cool thing is that uh, the protagonist says very juvenile and obnoxious things, some observations about. Uh, race about gender and so on and so forth but if you look behind that you will actually see a very clever social comment the author makes and I think um, for, for this kind of more subtle comment uh, and the total ridiculousness of, of the book it's kind of uh, kind of worth to, to read it. It's, uh, it's only 211 pages I think and I'm halfway through so I think I might finish it this weekend. And as I finished my steampunk novel um, yesterday, uh, I get to pick a new one and I decided to go with Jenny and the Greater Game. Uh, this is really exciting that came out I think at the end of July and um, it's a steampunk novel set in 1910 and it's about an 18-year-old girl called Yanisha. And Yanisha is, I think, half British, half Indian. And uh, it, uh, the setting is the Indian subcontinent, uh, the Himalayas. And uh, she, I think she finds some kind... You, you see, I haven't started it, so I don't know much about it. Than, other than the blurb, uh, and she kind of finds a, a device, um, and uh, I think the Russians and the Chinese are after the device as well. So it turns out to be kind of a a, a spy thriller thingy. I don't know. It it sounds amazing. It sounds like that's my kind of book. And it, if you look at the cover, it has a clockwork elephant. I repeat that if you maybe went to the toilet or something, it has a clockwork elephant. As soon as I saw the cover, I pre ordered. Clockwork elephant people. Clockwork elephant. That was my first Friday Reads video. What are you going to read over the weekend? Did you like what I'm going to read? Do you know any of the books? If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, hit the subscribe button. I hope you get bitten by a really good book too. And say so long. Till next time. Bye. If you want to see more of me, hit the subscribe button. And I hope you get bitten by a really good book. book, book. I was so close, wasn't I? So, so, so close. And then it was gone. Like a duff. Shut down. By a Gatlinger.